All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me here. I wish you all the very best as together we welcome in Friday, March the 8th. Now, Friday, March the 8th, I feel it could be a pretty cheerful day. Happiness is on the up and up. It's at least in awareness. There's going to be an overall feeling that there's a little bit more benevolence in the air and it's more readily received. Portion of which uh, the moon is on the celestial equator today. So that usually means like more temperance, more balance in the subtle things and in the subtle fields. So there's as long as you're receptive and in that receiving mode, you will notice a, a boost in benevolence, like kind of a bit of an energy boost, right? So that's really good. Uh, this day uh, could could be a bit of an impact, big boom moments, like uh, suddenly, right? That's the other feeling I've got on this day, just before we check in with Tarot here and see what's going on. Better get to shuffling as we go. Also want to recognize... Um, as we collectively and consciously acknowledge the Divine Feminine, a call, uh, on this date is International Women's Day, which is really cool. I think these days are important to, to notice and celebrate because like at the, at the root of it, it's half of the planet's population we're celebrating on one day. And, that, and that's a good collective energy to push, right? When it's like we're one step away from, you know, uh, International Happy Human Beings Day, which would be really awesome to see, right? We all just take a moment to acknowledge uh, the divine in all of us. So thank you to the divine feminine um, for the, the influence and the guidance as we, we come together collectively to higher consciousness. Um, and to all women uh, who have contributed their lives, their energy, their, uh, their heart and soul to making the world a much better place from today all the way back to the beginning of time make a long story short all the way back then to the beginning of time, right? All right, let's see what's going on. Bottom of the deck, we've got two of pentacles, right? The biggest card of choice, one of the biggest cards of choice that we see uh, in the tarot, right? People always say, well, somebody's juggling, what are they juggling? Uh, I don't know how to juggle, but I appreciate a good juggler. But this here is like one of the bigger decision cards in the deck. Uh, but the decision is at least in front of you. This is the feeling it's going to be. And... This is also saying take some time to evaluate decisions. Uh, it's, a, it's a reminder to be like, it's, if it's not going anywhere tomorrow and you haven't read the fine print yet, there's no need for you maybe to make this decision. You could juggle this in your mind. You could weigh over the pros and cons in your mind a little bit more. So yeah, I wanted to start taking the bottom of the deck card because I didn't last week, but I've kind of been called to do so. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. So on today, we've got Ten of Pentacles. And that Ten of Pentacles is supported by the Three of Swords, right? So here, this, this is card in a supporting role is, don't be afraid. This is just saying, make sure your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed today. Big decisions that involve contracts and fine print. Again, this is a, this is a double whammy to say, wait on, wait on that or don't rush into anything today. Or if you're feeling pressured, just have them back off, right? That kind of thing. Uh, this Ten of Pentacles, I think this speaks more to the, to the time that we're in, in this like kind of foggy dreamworks, Piscean, like deep Piscean energy now, as the moon starts uh, waxing, building back up, um, it could seem like this very dreamy. And it's like, it is a good time to be in alignment whenever you're like looking at crown chakra type stuff, even though we're not quite there, it's not quite Sunday yet. But it's when we look at self actualization, the 10 of Pentacles, it says, acknowledge the journey, right? Every every star that rises will someday fall. And, and wherever you are on that path, it's the, it's the time to take time to acknowledge it and to enjoy it. Ten of Pentacles on the day-to-day -day level for the overarching energy, yeah. Family would be a big part of this day. It's like, uh, they're your family. You love them. Uh, you love to hate them. You love, you know, and it's, it's one of those things where it's like, hopefully none of you are in a situation where you're, you're looking to overcome like like larger, bigger problems on this day. And if you are, it's a time to let go of the structure of trying to figure everything out. It's it, this energy of like, you know, uh, making plans and, and like structure and regimen to everything. It's just not working right now. It's like, what did Steinbeck say? He's like, the, the best made plans of mice and men are off laid to waste. That is like pretty much what's going on at this time. A 10 is the end of a cycle, right? So you might be feeling a lot of you as like, okay, I want to move on to the next thing for personal growth as opposed to, to sticking it out and, and you know, maybe compromising um, 
you know, certain securities for personal growth. That could be a, an evaluation or some decisions people are making surrounding careers and work at this time because it's been a long, cold winter for us in the northern western hemisphere. It's so I hope that a lot of you are taking your vitamin D and you're not feeling too down in the dumps. And remember, like this is all temporary and this is a meant to be a dreamy time. It won't be until the next real new moon where we see uh, the real fullness or as it were like, oh my goodness, the reemergence of, of spring, right? We've got the vernal equinox coming up on the 20th and this day is kind of going to be a predecessor to that, I feel, where you'll be able to wake up. It's going to be harmonious. People are going to be in cheerful energy. So glean as much of that as you possibly can throughout this day. All right, I was a little lo along on tarot because I'm a little short on legend from our chafe. Few cool things to mention. Back in 71, this enormous meteorite exploded over China. It was like, you remember the Russian one a few years back in 2013? So reportedly, this one back then, it fell in a really rural area. But this thing made a bang that was like, people for like thousands of miles could hear this thing. And it luckily, it exploded in the atmosphere into like smaller chunks. The biggest one of which was like almost four tons. So this thing wasn't, it wasn't a peanut. This was like stardust falling, like, you know, the star that rises that one day fell, like, you know, who, who knows where it came from. But thanks to the discoveries of the geological uh, things that go along with that, we have some cool new creations today, I'm sure of it, whether they tell you about it or not. Uh, the only other thing I had back on this day was back in 71, Joe Frazier defeated Muhammad Ali in the decision the first time they ever fought. Man, laying the gloves to Muhammad Ali and knocking that guy out. Can you imagine the feeling that must have went on there? That boom, that's an impactful day for you. All right, so that's March 8th. Special shout out to Silver Winger Travels. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel and, and contributing so much in terms of your wisdom. If anyone wants to check it out, it's great variety. Uh, camping and beautiful drone cinematography over the desert. He's got some pretty interesting stuff over there at Silver Winger Travels. And I just wanted to thank him for uh, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And which, if you guys are liking this, I hope that you all do. So, again, all my love, much appreciation. We'll see you tomorrow.